welcome back to my channel and today I will just be showing you all how my lace frontal wig came out after I um, did everything okay so if you haven't watched my previous videos I will be leaving them down in the description bar below I have a video of me making this unit and I also have a video of me um, doing the lace frontal like making it blend and making it look as natural as I can get it I was getting a lot of questions like why are you cutting your frontal all up like that I'm like didn't y'all not see I didn't have no edges in the beginning of the video like did you not see that <laughs> I had to you know make it look like I have something there and when the wind blows like everything blows except for this these little hairs right here it don't go nowhere at all so they can't see my ball spot and nobody know around here unless they watching my video but yeah so I mean to tell you the truth like I was so ashamed like I didn't want to put that video out there because I didn't want y'all to see I had no edges you know I'm just saying I didn't want y'all to see but hopefully that video helps someone because it's not a lot of videos on in my last video I showed you all my way that's how I'm doing mine currently like for right now so I just want to come in show you all how everything came together at the end and right now I'm just wearing this little bun thingy or whatever I don't know see somebody do it on Instagram so this hair comes from Amplified Beauty and I will leave all the information down below so you guys can go and check it. They sent me the Brazilian Body Wave and they sent me the inches 20, 22, 24, and 24 with a 16 inch frontal. And um, making this unit, I didn't say, but I only used the 16 inch frontal, 20, 22, and 24. So I only used three bundles. So you could achieve this look with three bundles. When I first received this hair, it came in like a little cute little packaging. You know, each bundle was individually wrapped inside these little um, baggies or whatever. I'm going to show y'all a picture. It was so cute. And it also had like the little card with all the information on it. When I took the hair out of the bags, you know, I was running my fingers through it. I wasn't getting any shedding or anything like that. The bundles smelled good and it was very soft. So I wanted to color this hair. At first I was going for like a blonde look. So I'll show y'all a clip of how I um, colored this hair. And I'm going to show y'all the results like at the end. So basically I didn't like that color blonde. Like it was like an ash blonde. And to me it didn't look right like on my skin tone. Like I don't know but I didn't like it. So I just threw a um, Revlon color silk burgundy dye in it and I just leave a picture of how it looked and this is how I achieved this color but everything I did like I bleached the hair twice and all of that you don't have to do all of that I'm sure if you just lift the hair once and put the color on there you'll be good to go now since I did lift this hair twice um the hair became dry so what I did was I soaked it in my silicone mix and I let it sit and it was better but still after I installed this unit I have to put oil on it like every other day you know so it won't have you know be dry that's the only thing um what else I can say about this hair oh yeah the frontal now I like the front thing is it didn't have a PU strap on it to sew down like I just sewed down on the extra lace that's the only thing I'm getting minimum shedding and since I did process this hair twice and then color again like I don't, I'm not even tripping over that because I did a lot to this hair so the hair it's not bad and I did cut it because it was like super long so like now it goes here because it was like super super long so I did the thing is I am getting like a few tangles here or there when I'm running my fingers through it and I guess it's because I did process the hair twice and then like I colored it again so I put this hair under a lot okay so but other than that I really do love wearing this hair I really do enjoy this hair I, um, I just wanted to come and give y'all like a little update and tell you all how the hair been holding up or whatever and show you all my lace frontal um, I'm getting a whole bunch of questions in my comment section asking if I make wigs and I'm also getting a whole bunch of emails no dolls I'm sorry I do not make wigs like I say I am NOT a professional like I'm new to this okay I'm just doing um, what works for me 
But in the description bars in all of my videos, I do tell you all that, you know, I don't make wigs or whatever. And I let you all, um, and I give you all links to the person who inspired Her me. Her name on YouTube is Glam's Corner, I believe it is. And on Instagram, it's Let's Glam More. And I'm going to leave links down below so y'all can click on them. She make custom units and they are gorgeous. So go and check out her Instagram, okay? Like, I've been watching her for a long, long time now. Like, so I was inspired by her. So go and check out her channel and go check out her Instagram. She have a lot of pictures of the units that she make for um, her clients. And she also sell hair and the, um, the frontals. Like, they're gorgeous, okay? So check her out if y'all all want a lace frontal wig made or a unit made. Like, she make you parts. She do it all, okay? And she have affordable prices. But, yeah. So I just wanted to come and, you know, share with y'all how everything turned out. And let y'all all know about the hair that I've been rocking because I was getting questions on how the hair is holding up. But thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.